Chaligram. There's a quotation to start with Paul Ryan. Every successful individual knows that his or her achievement depends on a community of persons working together. My days are carefree. Red soil is my first love. The suckling I planted is a full tree now. Where birds flock together, days end peacefully. They often sing songs of the forest land. Its native links where I lost my past. My ancestor breathed their last. What is that freedom? My far forgotten chapter of memory sculpted on the walls of Konak Durga temple. My lines are straight, arrows fixed up, invasion from my city burden. Pure Dulung is not muddy, no metro links where lives are divided between lives. I am from that forest land, my roots lie, the kindly ones leave. My laurels are made of forest leaves, mostly green, dream fresh, mark of mud on the edges green. I am first losing my green leaves, or only coming to what is really my own. Beautiful sunsets need a cloudy sky. History walks through the corridor of uncertainties after the October rain. Chargram, there is where everything ends in love. My second poem is Beyond the Wall. Our own wall at every lived dream moves forward one hour only. The country lays divided, eagles vomit its history. The song of the kakku is contested by shrill cry of the crows. Our own world at every dawn moves forward, our dream only. The sky of love, all are part of history books now. The fire rises everywhere, the dust of the same, and the sky is sprinkling raindrops. The clouds are roaming like wild beasts. The wall of greed, the wall of greed, is dancing with ancient octopus's soul. My brother rests in peace. Immersed in the trembling of the leaves on the deep soil of Dunum. The smoke rises everywhere, the dust the same, and the sky is sprinkling raindrops. The clouds are roaring like wild beasts. Future of the land promises, as if an ancient octopus's soul, faithfully it waits. Many poets have written poems on waiting. I don't know why. If I am to choose one word from all my writing experiences, I will prefer to utter the word waiting. How I wait. The gusty wind swept away kids playing near the brook. Little by the road streaming main and waiting, I wait to catch the late night train to another town. Shadows of the day prevail. Men move behind a border. The keys they turn create a door. In the dim fading light, I hear people talking the treason of love. The traffic river has a rhythm, whispers from the leaves of small neem trees behind my house here before the tall Kolkata walls hiding houses. I feel a sense of ages, craft my waiting of being part and yet apart. There are grounds to cover before I meet her. In every season, month by month, 
I wait. Perhaps my life is a road I wait. Storm clouds pile, cloud on cloud I wait. I keep my spirit within my Sunday schedule. I keep my spirit within my Sunday schedule. A certain faithful waiting, waiting. My ringtone, ringtone we are all familiar with. Each small moment is joy in the year, from the past to the future, beyond the present. Moments are my skyline. For each moment I hear it, set my ringtone waiting. All calls wait, wait outside the boundary line. Mind plays a waiting game with children waiting for their mother. Smartphones wait for the screenshots, for profile picture or selfie. <coughs> Incoming calls wait. Wait for the receiver's wing, a wish perhaps. Sages beyond the border sparkling beasts wait for their maleficent of senses, living dead within the city of nine gates. I watch my words closely, grow larger than my pains, my angst. My selfie is a holocaust of movements and engagements after the work in an evening cafe where moods travel by the river of harsh truth. I read pages from the past, Kuilani to Kapil. Manohar and Jyotin all have stories of rivers, poems on partition, lives divided by borders and forces, all gets blocked, life shrinked, all gets at doors to life of blessed fruits and ringtones. Faithful hours wait for my vision and revision of words done, half done and not done. I read again. Faithful hours wait for my vision and revision of works done, half done and not done. I wait. Save life, save rivers. The last poem I read, this is actually written in memory of Philip Hughes. When he was struck, struck by the ball, he was 63, not out. For Philip Joel Hughes, title of the poem, 63 Not Out. The ball is red by the green grass. So many beeps move between 63 and 100. Light spins on cricket turf. A promising star larks unseen in the mating season of the cloud. Cloudlets coat in the sky. No love rain drops from the overhead gloom. Three days, three afternoons of the body without any sense. Light plays a left-handed stroke on a cruel November morning. Bouncer claims a breathing life. The sky was hollow, predictably light shower. Virginia had an odd sensibility. Banana farmers stopped breathing the red ball whisked past. No man can ever be so liquid. No touch is so palpable. No life is so heavy with size. Charioted spinning will finds a destination. Nano space of human hearts. The night in windowless, tight and fisted. Halfway between Sydney and Brisbane, all words stopped. Punctuations suspended. No man is on the bridge of Maxville. All eyes are wet. All are at home. From the mountain to the Himalayas. From Nambuka to Subarnarika. All bear one name. We shall wait for him. Dreaming for long. On the wheels rolling. Possum's lust spell is over. 
the unfinished green curtain sinks. All hearts are suspended, eyes travel, leaf to leaf, morning to night, other feelings abundant. 